esophagectomy refers to the surgical removal uh, of someone's, uh, or at least a fairly significant portion of someone's esophagus, uh, usually performed uh, as part of treatment for esophageal cancer. Uh, it's an extensive operation that requires uh, operating through two different body cavities, uh, typically the abdomen and the chest. Can now be done nowadays through minimally invasive approach uh, or approaches and has a fairly significant uh, uh, recovery time in terms of time in the hospital and time uh, before returning back to baseline activity. So for an esophagectomy, where part of the esophagus is removed, um, first of all, a new one needs to be created and, uh, and hooked back to the remainder of the old esophagus. It usually involves at least a week in the hospital, all right, which the first uh, uh, four to five days of that is spent um, uh, just essentially doing not much other than letting things settle down um, in terms of just post-operative effects. But a good week in the hospital, a feeding tube is in place, and then uh, on an outpatient basis, people can resume uh, drinking first, uh, and then usually some thicker liquids, and then probably a good two to three weeks after before any kind of soft foods occur. To recreate a, a new esophagus, the typical um, organ would be the stomach to create a new esophagus. And so uh, the stomach has to be created into like a tube, all right? Uh, and part of that uh, involves using surgical staplers to create kind of a narrower tube. Um, and then that is brought up into the chest and hooked into the old esophagus where that's divided. And so uh, the part that's in between those two areas is the esophagus and the very beginning of the stomach that gets removed uh, along with the tumor that was there.